And uh, we do have breaking news, as we had suggested at the top. There is news out of the, that, uh, that case on Dante Wright. Uh, Morgan Chesky is there. What are we learning about whether there have been charges against Kim Potter, the police officer? Yeah, Andrew, you're absolutely right. Just within the last few minutes, we have heard from the county attorney here uh, in this area, and it is official second degree manslaughter charges coming against officer, former officer Kim Potter, that 26 year veteran uh, of the force right here in Brooklyn Center, who submitted her resignation yesterday uh, following the Sunday shooting death of 20 year old Dante Wright. Uh, that video was released on Monday, and it captured the moment uh, as Potter reached for her sidearm, saying, Taser, 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 before firing that single fatal shot uh, that a medical examiner says was the shot that killed uh, Dante when it struck him in the chest and he died a short time later. Uh, this is a charge that we anticipated coming at some point today. Uh, it's important to note that you could be charged with second degree manslaughter if you knowingly or consciously take a risk that results in the death of a person. Uh, we do know that at this point in time, there's been no official response from the family of Dante Wright. Uh, we do anticipate to hear from them at some point today in response to this. Uh, in addition to the charges coming against Kim Potter, we know that the police chief here in Brooklyn Center also resigned yesterday, Andrea, and this entire department has now been placed uh, under uh, the responsibility of the mayor. The city manager who used to look over this uh, has since been relieved of his duties. Uh, so a lot happening today. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on this uh, as it continues to go on. Uh, and keep in mind that this shooting is still under investigation uh, by the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension uh, at this point in time. Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm-fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local Black-owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit TheBetterBuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, ex-police officer Kim Potter has been charged with second-degree manslaughter in Dante Wright's case. And, you know, she was there 26 years. And, you know, she shot an autistic man back in 2019, did the same thing. Oh, it's a taser, taser. Who, who the hell just stands there yelling multiple times, taser, taser, taser. And then you got a handgun and you, you just killed a person. And she really should have been let go then. If you're going to make a mistake for a gun over a taser, then you have no business being on the police squad. But see, I think the reason why she did it, y'all, she got away with it back in 2019. They let her stay on the force. And then she tried to pull the same thing again with Dante Wright, and she got busted this time. So she no longer is a cop. And she is charged with second degree manslaughter. And you can best believe the police union is still going to back her up, probably just like uh, Derek Chauvin will pay the legal defense and anything she needs during her upcoming trial. So she's a 26 year uh, veteran that don't know the difference between a gun and a taser, which I believe she does. Like I said, it was just a way to get away with killing somebody and then claiming it's a mistake when it was intentional all along. The former Minnesota police officer who was captured on camera fatally shooting Dante Wright 
during a traffic stop was arrested in connection with Wright's death, authorities said Wednesday. So, you know, it's probably the Amber Geiger thing. She gets arrested an hour later, she's free again. Kim Potter, a 26 year veteran of the Brooklyn Center Police Department was taken into custody about 11.30 a.m. at the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension in St. Paul, officials said. She will be charged with second degree manslaughter in connection with Wright's death. Washington County Attorney Pete Orput announced. Wright, who was black, died of a gunshot wound to the chest according to the Hennepin County Medical Examiner's Office, which classified the manner of death as a homicide. Potter and the Brooklyn Center Police Chief Tim Gannon turned in their badges Tuesday in wake of Wright's death, which occurred just 14 miles north of where George Floyd was killed last year. The day before he resigned, Gannon told reporters that he believed the officer meant to draw a taser. So he's just buying into her story, which is a lie as far as I'm concerned, but drew their handgun instead of their taser. Now a handgun does not feel like a taser. A taser is way lighter than a handgun. In a short clip of the body camera video released Monday showed Wright trying to get back in his car as a female voice could be heard shouting taser taser but she did this with the autistic man back in 2019 she did the same thing taser 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 the same female voice could later be heard saying holy s i just shot him as the car pulls away police said so he went a short distance before, it, you know, it was over. He was shot in the chest. His mother, Katie Wright, said she could hear officers telling her son to exit the car when he called her during the stop. Dante asked for what? The police officer said, I'll explain to you when you get out of the car. He said, am I in trouble? He said, well, I will explain all of that when you step out of the car, Katie Wright said. So this is what his mother was hearing on the phone. Okay, so the phone hung up and minutes later, she reconnected in a video. I mean, what a shame. I mean, that must be horrible for a mother to hear. You're actually hearing your son last moments, you know, and hearing the cop scuffling, scuffling with him and ultimately kills him. So you're hearing the murder of your own child. Mm -mm -mm. So the phone hung up and minutes later, it reconnected in a video call and her son's passenger picked up, telling her that Wright had been shot. She pointed the camera towards the driver's seat and my son was laying there unresponsive, Katie Wright said. That was the last time that I seen my son. That was the last time I heard from my son. And I have had no explanation since. Yeah, because they, they need time to come up with a lie. Wright's family attorney, Benjamin Crump, Jeff Storms and Anthony Romanucci said in a statement that the district attorney's charging decision was only a step in the right direction. While we appreciate the district attorney is pursuing justice for Dante, no conviction can give the right family their loved one back. They said in a statement, this was no accident. And that's what I'm saying. And I do agree with that. I don't like Benjamin Crump, but I do agree that this was no accident. This was an intentional, deliberate and unlawful use of force. Exactly. And that's because, you know, they get away with it and they see each other getting away with it. So of course, it's going to always inspire them to keep doing it, keep killing us. 
because they, they see how cop after cop is getting off for these shootings. A 26 year veteran of the force knows the difference between a taser and a firearm, exactly. Kim Potter executed Dante and she did for what amounts to no more than a minor traffic uh, infraction and a misdemeanor warrant. <sighs> wow. So yeah, I, I definitely believe, you know, this woman should have never been on the force. As far as I'm concerned, back in 2019, when she did the first taser act, trying to act like it was a mistake and having the officers that she was training to switch their cameras off, you know, this that was intentional too. They need to reopen that case. A badge should never be a shield to accountability. Dante Wright was brutally killed by a police officer and justice must prevail. Wright's death at the hands of a white police officer raised the already high tensions in Minnesotans. As former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for killing Floyd, yeah, and we saw, and they're trying to take us for fools talking about he died of fentanyl. Well, I'm glad those three medical examiners debunked that. It, the, all of that was thrown out the window. Okay, so we know Floyd's death uh, sparked protest, and you know we know about that. They seem to put that in every article, y'all. Pardon the high IQ, Minnesota has been the national focal point for several shootings in recent years. In April of 2019, former Minneapolis police officer Muhammad Noor was convicted of third degree murder and second degree manslaughter for the slaying of Justine Rustic Diamond uh, White. Yeah, but she, you know, you put the officer in jail. What did he get? 12 years? You put him in jail. But he was a black officer, so you didn't care about throwing him in jail. Um, okay, so then there was um, Damon called the police because she heard some noise that she was saying, I think it was like a possible rape or something was going on and, and she approached the police car and Muhammad Noor shot her. And then we can never forget Philando Castile, who was shot by Geronimo Yanez, you know, for absolutely no reason. He asked him for ID. He was trying to get his ID and his information and he was a legal gun carrier. He tried to let him know that and he shot him anyway and got completely off from doing it. So when cops see other cops getting off, yeah, they're going to take a chance and, and try to kill one of us too. But this one, she's trying to kill black people and then claim every one of these shootings are accidents. Get the hell out of here with that lame behind mess. So, okay. So earlier, two white, police officers involved in a fatal shooting of a 24 year old black man, Jamar Clark, were not charged in connection to uh, his death. The encounter happened the fall of 2015. Police said Clark was suspected of assaulting his girlfriend and then interfered with paramedics who were treating her. Officers insisted Clark was reaching for their weapons. They always come up with, we're reaching for your weapons. They touched your waist. You thought they had a gun, yada, yada, yada. How come y'all don't never say this when you are around white suspects? You don't say none of these things. None of it. That's right, Loretta. They don't say none of these things when the suspect is white. We always consistently hear these words when the person is black. Um, he was reaching for their weapons during a struggle while critics of the decision not to file charges 
said the man was unarmed. And that's usually how it is. It's unarmed and they're no threat, but they try to insist the person was a threat. That's usually the normal protocol in America. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this woman getting second degree manslaughter charges. Um, I, I, I personally don't think it's going to amount to nothing because they're going to make sure she gets all the protection she needs, even though she doesn't deserve any. But that's how it is in America. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.